Hi, I'm Graham Lewis, and in this short video, we're going to do three little examples of how to add and subtract fractions when they're less than one. And we call these proper fractions when we don't have a mixed number. If you have something like one and a half, that would be considered a mixed number. When we have just a num numerator divided by a denominator, that's a proper fraction when it's less than one. Okay, so here we go. So I've got three sixths, add two thirds. I can't add them at the moment because here I'm counting sixths and I've got three of them. Here I'm counting thirds and I've got two of them. And I need to make the denominators the same, so I'm counting the same thing. It's like looking out in my pond right now. I can see three ducks and two ducks. I'm counting ducks. I've got five ducks. You can't add sixths and thirds. You have to add the same thing. So what we can do is write them using equivalent fractions so we can count we have the same thing. So I'm sure you've guessed it. What number does 6 and 3 both go into? And 6 is the answer. So we can leave the first one the same. The second one I want to change into something sixths. So what if you multiplied 3 by to get the 6? The answer is 2. So you have to multiply the top number by 2 as well to keep it equivalent. So 4 sixths. So I've multiplied, let's just show that working, remind you from fractions one video. I've multiplied two thirds by the number one, two over two. Two times two is four, three times two is six. And so two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. Now it's beautiful because we're counting three sixths, add four sixths. And three sixths add four sixths is how many sixths have you got? You've got seven sixths. I see a common error of people writing seven twelfths, and that's wrong. You're not counting twelfths, you're counting sixths. So like, I've got three ducks and four ducks, I've got seven ducks. I haven't got seven eggs, I've got seven ducks. So here I'm counting sixths, and I've got three sixths plus four sixths, and that makes seven sixths. Now that would be called a um, top heavy fraction, or an improper fraction. And if you want, you can write that as a mixed number because six goes into seven once, remainder one, which still needs to be divided by the six. Okay, you're going to try example two now on your own. So pause the video, think of a number that five and 12 both go into and write them as equivalent fractions and see if you can add two fifths at five twelfths. And then I'll go through it. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go at this, and I'm hoping you decided that 5 and 12 both go into 60. How many times does 5 go into 60? 12 times. So if you multiply the bottom by 12, I've got to multiply the top by 12 as well. Whoops, I won't put another time sign. So I'm times in top and bottom by 12. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 24 sixtieths. Now let's do the same for 5 twelfths. Well, I've multiplied the bottom by five. 12 times five is 60. So I've got to multiply the top by five as well. So five times five is 25. So now I'm counting the same thing, sixtieths, and I've got 49 sixtieths. Can you think of any numbers that go into 49 and 60 other than one? No, I can't either. So that's it, it's in its simplest form. And we can leave it. Now you have a go at three quarters minus two fifths. So again, pause the video, have a go on your own, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so looking at three quarters minus two fifths, what's the smallest number you can think of that four and five both go into? And I thought of 20. So how many times does four go into 20? Five times. So I want to multiply the bottom by five, four times five is 20. So I have to multiply the top by five as well. And I get 15 twentieths. Do the same. How many times does five go into 20? Four times. So I need to multiply the bottom by four. Five times four is 20. And the top times four. Two times four, giving me an eight. So now I'm counting twentieths. And I've got 15 twentieths minus eight twentieths. So I've got 13. Whoops, no, I haven't. <laughs> I can't do subtraction. I've got seven twentieths. And can you think of a number that goes into seven and 20 other than one? No. So that's it, it's in its simplest form. So that's as easy, if you can do equivalent fractions, you can add and subtract fractions. Okay, well done everyone. Um, and maybe you're ready for fractions three.